Carol turn and stuff. Set the tee whatever height you want it, whatever height you like. I want you to hold your hands right here, and I want you to bend your back. And when, let me demonstrate. I'm, I'm a lefty too. That's what he's saying. Get over here so I don't hurt you. Come over here so I can. Okay. We were just standing out there doing this. We were turning this knob into our nose as quick as we could. Now, if we get on plane of the ball here, and we do that same thing, turn this knob into our nose, hit the ball. Okay? All right, your turn. <clears throat> We've got to come to a stop. We've got to come to a stop. Watch, guys. Watch. Now, I've got to feel like this knob is on the plane of the ball. Do you understand that? My knob, if I had a laser beam, it would flash the ball. And if I do that, my barrel goes right to the ball. If my knob is above the plane, I'm going to miss the ball. Okay? So I'll help you find the plane if you don't understand that. Okay? Go to your tees. <clears throat> Get the balls into your mat. Stand there from the stop. On plane. Bring your barrel. No strides allowed. No strides allowed. Okay? All right, sit up. Okay. Get into position. Drake, no stride. Okay. Put your hands together. Hey, Drake. Okay. Make sure you don't back up so into Carter's back. This, He's swinging right behind you. Watch this. If this is the laser beam coming out of there. Watch right here. Your knob will go right up. No step. The ball. Your knob will go right up like this. And when that happens, the barrel will come right around. Okay? So. When you're standing here, I want you to pretend there's a laser beam, and that laser beam is going to splash that ball. Good. 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 Okay. You want me? It's going to feel the ball. Keep going. There's more push than snap. You kind of snapped it, but you also pushed it. I want you to feel that all you're going to do is turn this knob as fast as you can. No strides, no strides. Grip the bat. Better, better. You want that bat to an upper plane. Over. You want to come under, like you said. Better. There you go. Okay. If we have to, if we're standing here like this, and we have to make a move to get on the plane as we swing, then we're not quite in the right position. We should be on the plane of that before we swing, and then turn this knob up. As quick as you can. Nope. The first move is your wrist. Um. Now you're bringing your hands right up. Right now bring your wrist back. Right. Your wrist back here. Wrist. Okay. No strides. I like that. It's gonna feel like that. Feel me? Turn. Ready? Okay. Remember the snap side. Okay. Your knob has to go up, not sideways. When you swing, 
You're that was good, Drake. Place. That was a good one. It's got to go up. Remember the blue pole has to be above. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Turn the knob up. Up instantly. Instantly up. Okay. You know the difference? Yeah. You only need about 10,000 swings doing green. <laughs> yeah, that, that's only what, 200 <laughs> swings for five days? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Right, let's do it. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't take that much, but we've got to get away from the hands moving to swing the bat. We have to learn to pivot. It's kind of like the pivot releases the hands and allows them to move. They can't move first and then pivot. Okay? Remember the drill you just did over here. Like, get that barrel into your chin. Good, Carter. Put that barrel into your chin. And turn as bad as you did over here. Barrel into your chin, turn. Alright, get set up. Get all set up and make your mouth as quick as you can. Go from here with it. Wait, hold it. Fast ball push. Hold it. Here you can. Swipe. Hands snap out in front of his face. Right, right there. Yeah. But the first thing that looked to me like a man, the first thing that moved was his hand, which is what he really turned around to do. Right now. It wasn't a clean call, I agree. If we do the right thing,